use these powerful psalms to destroy your enemies, to destroy their evil plans, to destroy their evil plots against you. Ephesians 6 verse 12 says, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers in the high places. Stop them before they stop you. I am going to be sharing six powerful psalms you are going to use to pray. Use these six powerful psalms to destroy your enemies, to destroy their evil plots, their evil works, their evil plans against you. They will confess and they will leave you alone. And if they refuse to leave you alone, they will suffer. For you bear in your body the mark of Christ Jesus. You are untouchable. You are unstoppable. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Chi is Inspired. My name is Chi. So here on this channel, we pray, do it yourself. You deliver yourself with your consistency in prayer. So if you love to pray, you love God, hit the red subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. So anytime I upload a video, you will get notifications. And please don't forget to give this video a like. It will help every other person to come across this video. I want you to understand that the devil goes about seeking whom to devour, seeking whom to destroy, seeking whom to frustrate. But as a child of God, you are in the best position to say no to the enemy. You are in the best position to take back or to recover or to restore whatever the enemy has stolen from you through your prayers so satan will not take you by surprise because he only comes into your life to kill to steal and to destroy that is why at times things are not going well for you you are facing a lot of disappointment you are facing a lot of hardship you are facing a lot of frustration nothing is happening in your life but as a christian what do you need to do stop them before they stop you get up and pray take back whatever the enemy has stolen from you and as you do this heaven will answer you heaven will honor you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ amen you don't need to wait for the enemy to attack you before you start praying you don't need to wait to start having challenges before you start praying our lord jesus christ said watch and pray pray without ceasing so i am going to be sharing this powerful psalms that you are going to use to defeat your enemies to defeat their evil plots and as you pray the psalms may god answer you and deliver you in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ amen do this prayer between 12 a.m to 3 a.m then you are going to ask god for mercy reading psalm 51 like i said earlier on you are going to use a stick of candle you are going to do this prayer for three nights and at the end of this prayer god is going to expose the plants of the enemy he is going to expose the plans of the wicked one against your life you are going to have a revelation in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ so when you light your candle you ask god for mercy you read psalm 54 i am going to be reading just one to three verses so psalm 54 says save me O god by thy name and judge me by the strength hear my prayer O god give ear to the words of my mouth for strangers are risen up against me and oppress or seek after my soul they have not set god before them so you are going to pray the whole of psalm 54 and you cry unto god ask god to fight your battle ask god to deliver you from the oppressors those that seek after your life those that seek after your soul those that don't want you to progress those that does not want you to have joy those should arise and fight for you in jesus name when you are done reading psalm 54 you pray with psalm 54 pray with all your heart pray with your faith so the next bible verse you are going to be reading is psalm 10 why standest thou afar of o lord why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined whatever they've imagined whatever they've wished for you let it return back to them 
in the name of Jesus Christ. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorred. So you are going to read the whole of verse 10 and pray with it. Psalms, they are prayers already. So it's for you to apply your faith in it and pray according to the word of God and according to the scriptures and God will fight your battle. Then the next psalm is Psalm 18. Love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I would trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. You pray the whole of Psalm 18. God, you 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 pray the whole of you read the whole of Psalm 18 and you pray with it. You are telling God to come to your head to fight your battle. You are bringing him into the scene because you cannot do it by your own power. You cannot do it by your own strength. And as you do this, may heaven answer you and deliver you in Jesus' name. Amen. Then the next psalm is Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will I not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters therefore roar and be troubled, and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. You read this whole of Psalm 46 and you pray with it. Remember with one stick of candle. The next psalm you are going to be praying with is Psalm 64. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. Most of them, most of the things that is happening in your life is as a result of evil pronouncement. You pray. Every evil pronouncement that has been made against me, that is hindering me from progressing, that is hindering the purpose of God upon my life, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. As you pray the Psalms, God will answer you and he will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Then the last psalm you are going to be reading is Psalm 35. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am the salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my heart. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them out of your life. Let the angel of the Lord chase them out of your career. Let the angel of the Lord chase them out of your marriage, out of your business, out of your ministry in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you are done reading these six Psalms with your candle, begin to pray. Begin to destroy every plans of the enemy against you. That Heavenly Father should fight your battle. He should deliver you because you are depending on Him. He is your refuge. He is your fortress. In Him you put your trust. He should come to your aid and fight your battles. He should destroy and scatter their evil plots against you. All their evil works they've done against you. That you will not progress. That you will not succeed. That you will not excel. That let the blood of Jesus Christ destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. You pray as the Spirit of God leads you. Do this prayer consistently for three nights and your enemies, they will confess. They will lose their hold and grip over your life and things will begin to work for your own good. Your life will begin to turn around for the better. Life will turn around for the better. Use a stick of candle and do this prayer for three nights consistently and God will fight your battle. God will dismantle, he will destroy their evil plans and their evil plots against you. They will no longer have power over you. 
prayer is the key and as you do this i pray for you this hour as you do this prayer consistently may heaven come to your aid may god deliver you may god prosper all your ways and deliver you from the hands of your enemies in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ if you just watched this video please don't forget to give this video a like share this video subscribe to this channel for more prayer and spiritual tips turn on your notification bell so anytime i upload a new video you will get notified thank you and remain blessed